Hello everyone, welcome to Just Invest Today, and today we're talking about inflation 2021. What's causing all this inflation? What is happening? And kind of how can we fight it or just understanding the causes because we see right here, Bill Ackman says official stats understate raging inflation. And this inflation has just been going crazy of lately. If you haven't even realized, you haven't been noticing what's been going on. Is this, Even if you're like shopping, even if you're buying groceries, you see prices of like apples, oranges, everything going crazy. And we see the housing market going crazy. And the CPI is lying to us. The Federal Reserve, everyone's lying to us saying, oh, inflation is only 4%, 3%. But we know that is not accurate if you're living in the real world. Can you please like this video, subscribe to my channel. I'm on the road to a thousand subscribers. Can you please help me get there, man? Come on, please. Come on, subscribe right now. Press that button. Press that button. Look what they're saying the reason for inflation is. CPI inflation rises to the three-month high in November. Retail inflation picked up in November despite excise duty cuts on fuel. The rise was led by vegetable prices, which increased because of unseasonal rainfall. Did you hear this? They're blaming inflation on rising vegetable costs because of freaking rainfall? The Federal Reserve wants you to believe inflation is just at like 4 or 5%. That's all. But if you're living in the real world, you're understanding what's going on, you're seeing what's been printing and how much printing they're doing, you understand that that is not the case. They're just making up numbers. They're not using accurate results. For one, when they look at the basket, they calculate, basically they calculate inflation by looking at a basket of goods to see how high compared to last year has prices risen over time or over the years. And when they're looking at that, look what they're looking at. They're looking at vegetables. Like what the hell? Like they're not really looking at energy costs. They're not really looking at housing. They're not really looking at uh, schooling costs. Like they're not looking at the main inflation like causes. It's not all about your vegetables and fruits. And that's the thing they're not really looking at. They're looking at more oil and gas prices and they're trying to control for gas prices, but that's not the accurate way to look at stuff. Look at that, looking at vegetable prices, clothing and footwear, house inflation, 3.7%, but are they taking into account rent? I doubt it. Fuel and light, inflation and transport. Like they're not really getting an accurate view of inflation. And this is what Bill Ackman is saying. Bill Ackman is saying they are underestimating inflation. Bill Ackman thinks that reported U.S. inflation is understated, even though Labor Department data released Friday shows prices in November rising at their fastest pace since 1982. The billionaire founder, capital manager, said the consumer price index increase could have been as high as 10%. So that's what Bill Ackman is saying about inflation, that it's the main driver is like the housing costs, rent costs, power Reported inflation is understated. Owners' equivalent rent relies on owner service to estimate inflation and housing costs. This is an extremely imprecise metric. The single-family rental market provides more accurate data. The OER in today's reported core CPI was 3.5% year-over-year. The largest owners of nationwide single-family rentals are reporting 7% year-over-year rent increases. OER is 30% of the core CPI calculation and 24% of the reported CPI. Housing inflation is unlikely to abate based on supply and demand trends. And do you remember when Kathy Wood was saying that this is all transitory? It's all about the freaking logistics and how the logistics is backed up. That's what's causing all the inflation. And when that settles, it's just going to go back to normal. So now we're seeing the Federal Reserve coming out and saying that is not the truth. That's far from the truth. So how are we fighting this, guys? Because I know a lot of you just have your, your money in the bank just sitting there, just burning cash. It's just going down because every single year inflation increases 11%, 12%, and you don't know how high that's going to go. We see even products increasing in their prices, man. Like, they're raising Dove soap and freaking consumer products by 4% in the third quarter. So it's it's everything that's raising Chipotle is even increasing its prices and people are demanding higher wages. So we see what's happening in the market. So how are you in fighting inflation as the money is just burning in the bank? 
So the first thing we can do and the first thing we have to realize is that the stocks that we buy, we have to make sure they have pricing power. And that's super key. We want companies with pricing power with strong competitive advantages that can thrive in any economic times, man. So that's what we're looking for. Like, think about Google. They don't need a lot of assets. They don't need uh, a lot of capital expenditures to grow their business. It's going to grow no matter what. And Google can raise their prices on their ads at any time, depending on the market. So that's an amazing company to have. You can companies like Facebook and all those other companies that just have low capital expenditures. They can always raise their prices. Even a company like Apple, like Apple just raises their prices and people are just still going out to buy their products. So pricing power is key in these economic times, man. So that's one example of stocks that can just be amazing during these times. So you don't have to worry about all the inflation. In my next video, I'm going to talk about more stocks that you can buy or more areas where you can invest in. But that's it for this video, guys. Please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to see you in the next video. Peace.